We are uh, treating water for scale corrosion, biolife prevention in uh, water systems. Wesu came to us and said they have a system that can treat it without chemicals. Uh, so, and they would, said they would be, will be cheaper. So it was a cost efficiency and environmentally friendly method. So we gave them a chance to try it. Uh, my name is Charles Furry. I'm the Biox plant manager. Okay, the Wesu system has been installed now for approximately a year now. In the beginning we had a lot of scaling scale formation in the reactor pipes. Um, also the color was more dark so there lot, was a lot of impurities. Um, the last two three months we found that the amount of scaling has reduced dramatically uh, and the color, this last color that we looked at the scaling is a more whitish calcium carbonate so it shows you that it's mostly the calcium carbonate that comes from the uh, fresh water. In general we used to use two pumps to supply enough water for the whole cooling system uh, currently we're only running one pump, it's about 44 kilowatt motor, motor's power that we save at this stage. I've been thinking I must maybe look at putting some of that water through these other, switch off these cooling, one of these cooling towers and run that water through to here. That's a mistake because then we don't have to supply another machine. It's your loss. If your <laughs> machine is so good, why bother? In the past, the mine had to improve uh, heat transfer and remove all the scale build up during a period. They had to periodically uh, fill in a drum, lift it up to the tank, connect each of the cooling coils into the Savtox drum and circulate the Savtox through the coils in order to remove all the scale. As things are now with the Visu system, this will not be required anymore. A set pattern that we had to every two years replace packings on the cooling on, on a cooling tower but at this stage it looks as if we'll be able to stretch it for a longer period if not for indefinite till the, uh, the, the packing fails due to normal wear and tear but not due to scaling of the packing. The mine found out that from a situation of under cooling capacity during uh, hot uh, water season, they reach a situation where they have got over capacity and they have now to reduce the amount of cooling water that they supply into the tanks by about 85%. But yes, if you look at the Delta T's, this used to be uh, about nine, six, nine, but then this would be uh, flow rate would be say was about 60 cubes. Now I get 12 with 27. So my delta T's are very nice. Now as I say, I can run much less pumps. Our system is based on principles of chemistry, on electrochemistry, and does not require any uh, chemical addition, only a minute amount of electricity which accelerates the chemical reaction inside the water and manufacture the scale 1,000 to 1,500 times faster than scale is deposited naturally in your system. It has proven itself in that the temperatures of the uh, cooling coils uh, shows that there's no scale buildup. So we have a very high transfer, heat transfer rate through the cooling coils. Uh, there has been no detectable deterioration of the transfer rate due to scale formation in the cooling pipes. Um, and there's all indications that we monitor shows that there's no, that it's working and we're getting very good results from it. And the amount of electricity we are using is about 200 watt per 50 cubic meter per hour, which is like the lighting in this room or 400 watt when we are using it on cooling tower. The Vesu system scales the carbon carbonates in the in their reactor in their system and not on the piping of the cooling system. So you force the the scaling to occur in a place where you can control it and not in a place where you don't want it to scale. And by removing it you can 
recycle your uh, cooling water for a longer period of time. So you don't have to bleed off to, uh, to prevent too high buildup of uh, scaling. Uh, from an operational point of view, as a guy who has to keep the plant running, I can tell you it's working. The Wester system has an SMS system that gives you warning if there's any parameters that are out of uh, the required area that it must be in. So I'm getting a pre-warning so when my operator's phone, my shift foreman phones me to tell me there's a power uh, problem, I could tell him, okay, you've stopped so long, that time you had a power failure, how's it going? So I'm sort of pre-warned and I have more uh, insight so they find it strange that I know so much about what's happening on the plant. So yes, it's an additional benefit. As long as the water flow is going through, nobody tampers with the valves, it runs by itself. It's a self-monitoring and self-maintained maintain piece of equipment. Uh, there was an electromagnet one that we tried. Uh, that didn't work. In comparison with the chemical pro um, system that we have installed, is the cost in terms of chemicals, uh, the fact that you don't need chemicals. So the, uh, the, my, the if you look at the safety, inherent safety of the system, you don't have to worry about people being poisoned by uh, extra chemicals that's now situated on your plant. Our technology is completely environmentally friendly and doesn't present any hazard to the environment, nor it represents hazard to the people that are handling the machine. When comparing the technologies uh, used to treat water in the industry, we find out that the success rate of uh, the uh, well-known uh, magnetic and electromagnetic uh, technologies is around 50% success rate. Chemicals success rate is around 65%, while our technology guarantees 95% success rate. There are over 2,500 systems worldwide. The return on investment on all the projects that we are working in South Africa, in the mining industry, is below 12 months, where we replace potable water with industrial or mining water, the return on investment drops down sometimes to two months. So we've already referred them to Kazakhstan, where there's also a gold mine, where which uses the bikes. We have, they also have very bad scaling problems. So yes, we are, I'm happy to refer them to, to different customers.